Okay, so please share your uh, resume. Can you please share your resume? Yes, sir. So please share your resume in the chat box. Yes, sir. Oh, give me a second, sir. Sir, I sent. I didn't get middle, so share your resume. Give me a second. Okay, I got it. Okay. So your resume says almost you have four plus years of as your consultant, and uh, so you worked uh, two support projects, right? One is end-to-end -end implementation. Yeah, yes. Okay. So just to brief me, so how do you implement uh, this uh, support project? Which one uh, implementation, right? The first one is. No sir. First one yeah. is support project, and second one. Support is project, project, right? So do you know SAP methodology? Yes sir. Yeah, in which phases you have involved uh, in the SAP methodology? Can you please uh, brief me? So in the realization phase and in the final phase. Okay. okay. In Tell the me what are the, what are the configurations uh, that you have performed in the uh, development stage? Yes, in the realization phase, I have configured GL configurations, vendor vendor master configurations, customer master data configurations, and then AR configuration, ER configuration, GL configurations, uh, dunning, APP, withholding tax, GST, then okay. integration with STM, LP and MM modules, and uh, uh, involved in the configuration of new GL account also. Sir. Okay. So what are the configurations that we need to perform the withholding tax? First, we have to define countries for which we have we have to look for countries for which withholding tax okay. is applicable. And mm -hmm. then next step is uh, we have to define first withholding tax keys uh, like a 194A, okay. A for a, uh, in 94A, 194C for contracts and 194IE for rent. Uh, like okay. this, we have to define first withholding tax. And next step is uh, we have to uh, define uh, withholding tax uh, for incoming payment and then next to for outgoing payments. Okay. Then check uh, recipient names, check okay. recipients, and then we have to define withholding tax codes. Okay. So what is the that, purpose of tax codes actually? So the configuration. Yeah. Yeah, withholding tax code purpose. To determine the. To determine the tax. To determine the tax. So, what are the fields will be involved in the withholding tax? Uh, tax codes. Tax codes. Okay. Yeah. So, in the withholding tax con tax code configuration, what are the fields will be there? Okay. So, tell me. So, what is the entry after? Uh, uh, withholding tax paying. Raw material account debit to vendor account credit to so withholding tax. Uh, okay, that is invoice, right? Raw material yes. to vendor that is invoice. Yes, so after payment, what is the entry? After payment, sir, vendor account debit to withholding tax credit. But it bank should be withholding tax, right? Yes. Okay, it should be come into the debit side or credit side. Withholding tax, sir. Yeah. Debit, sir. Debit side. Okay. 
I think it's credit side, right? You are paying to government. Uh, vendor account is debit, sir, and withholding tax is credit, sir, and two main bank account credits. Okay. So please check check it out that uh, entry once again. Okay. And uh, have you involved in the GST configuration and all? Yes, sir. Okay, you are not part of GST configuration. Yes, sir. I am involved in the configuration of GST. Okay. So tell me, what is the tax procedure uh, that you have created? So on what basis? What is the base amount that you have taken? Base amount we have taken. On what basis we need to take the base base amount? Any idea? Okay. What is the purpose of access uh, sequence in the GST concept? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Yeah. What is the purpose of uh, access sequence in the GST? Uh, where we do the configuration of access case? Any idea? OB. OBQ3, sir. Okay, that uh, that is fine. Uh, T code is fine. So once you created access keys, access sequence, where we need to assign? Access keys uh, condition types of access class sequence, package. Not key, access sequence. So access sequence? Yeah. Uh, so we are assigning this access sequence in uh, at, at the type of at the time of uh, Condition sequence, condition types okay. to classify okay. the forms. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between uh, tax INN and the tax INJ? I don't know, sir. Any idea? No idea, sir. Okay. So, what are the taxes uh, has been replaced by GST? Yes. Uh, all indirect taxes like excise, excise tax. Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sorry. VAT tax and uh, excise tax. Excise is still there, sir. But sorry, VAT, uh, operate or act rate tax, uh, entertainment tax. All the indirect taxes are merged into GST. Okay, sir. fine, fine, fine. Okay. So, in which area you are strong uh, in FI? APAR, sir. Okay. So tell me the configurations in the automatic payment program. First in FPJP, we have all country, all company. First one is. Okay. Our first one is all company codes and then second one is payment method in the current payment method in paying, paying company codes. Paying company code. Next day one is a payment method in the country and payment method in company code and then bank determination and house bank. Sales. Okay. Can we clear the down payments through automatic payment program? Yes, sir. We can clear, sir. Down payments. Where we do the uh, configuration? Uh, no idea. Down payment. No, sir. I am. I am telling, sir. Oh, OBYR, sir. For no, 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 no. In automatic payment program, all company codes. One option is there for the down payment, special GL indicator. Yes, a special GL payment. indicator, AF fund. Yeah, that's fine. That, that is down payment, right? Yes, down sir. payments are just like special GL indicators. Okay, so tell me what are the critical issues that you have faced uh, during the current project? Yes, uh, majorly we, uh, we have faced in that uh, critical issues in the APP only, sir. Business wants to post uh, um, minimum amount of one to ma 10,000 for check via check, sir. And next one is from 10,000 to maximum amount uh, via through Y transfer, sir. This is a major issue we have, we have sir. Uh, the solution is first we have to create two payment methods, sir. For check and wire, in that we have to give minimum amount uh, payment method in the company code. We have to give uh, minimum amount is uh, one and uh, maximum amount is 10,000 for check, sir. And second, second is uh, we have to create uh, uh, second for second uh, payment method. We have to create maximum amount from 10,000 to minimum amount from 10,000 to maximum amount, and then we have to assign this in the payment method in the 
company codes so that we can post in bomb amount uh, one up to 10000 via check and okay fine uh, so uh, what is the purpose of sartiki in the jail master As assignment uh, assignment purpose sir. okay so sartiki will be open in the assignment okay so can you brief me about idocs is yes, uh, idoc is nothing but intermediate document it means uh, transferring data from non sap to sap and sap to sap also majorly it was accepted by uh, almost globally sir uh, idoc per, idoc has three records sir. control record data record and uh, status records sir. that uh, in control record we have four uh, type name vendor and all this Data okay, fine. So, vendor. what is the difference between uh, IDOC and uh, DME? Yes, sir, both are uh, data exchange files, sir. But uh, DME is uh, specially for uh, means specific to some banks and countries, sir. But IDOC is uh, globally accepted. Sir. Okay, what is the difference actually? I need more clarification on this. Any difference? Yes, sir. Difference is there, sir, but I don't know much about this. I know only these two points. Two points only. So in DME, what are the file formats will be there? XML file and flat file, sir. Okay. So DME should be deposited in bank, right? In the bank servers. Yes, sir. Bank servers. Okay. So have you involved in the interface issues? what are the interfaces that uh, your company is associated with that one is uh, cad agency and ariba sir cad agency and ariba sir ariba okay have you faced any kind of issues uh, from the ariba team regarding the uh, error resolution and all so you have you uh, have you participate any issues to resolving that oh, sir i didn't participate in this okay Okay, what is dunning? Uh, dunning is nothing but uh, just a reminder notice to the customers uh, for for which they didn't pay. Means like uh, uh, due and uh, overdue notices. Sir. Okay. So tell me the configurations in the dunning program. Dunning procedure. Dun what is the configuration? Uh, in dunning. Through transaction code FPMP, we can we have two or three options. One is dunning procedure and mm -hmm. dunning. What is dunning key? Dunning key is used to purpose. Dunning key main purpose is is whenever whenever we have enough uh, dunning notices, we have sent to customer. Or uh, if we don't want to send again next notice, we can use dunning key. Sir. Okay. What is the difference between the group chart of accounts and uh, country specific chart of accounts? Country specific chart of accounts is uh, specific countries uh, accounting thing. Accounting chart. Chart of accounts. Yeah, actually, uh, that, your voice is not that much audible, madam. So please raise a little bit more. Uh, a group chart of accounts is for consolidation of business. Sir. Country specific okay. chart of accounts is specific to specific particular countries. Mm -hmm. Where do we assign the country specific GLs? Sir, in master date, oh, actually in OB62. OB? OB62. So shall we assign the country specific uh, uh, GL uh, GLs in the master data GL master data? Yes, sir. In our alternate account number, we can assign country specific account. Okay. What is the difference between the company code and uh, business area? Company code is at uh, company code is nothing but it's an organizational unit which we are drawing profit and loss and. Uh, 
balance sheets uh, actually it is external reporting uh, whereas business area is also same purpose for balance no, 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 no. actually what happened your voice is not that much level so other people can hear okay little bit raise your voice so that uh, i can understand okay sir yeah sir now you can hear me sir yes fine is yes, a business area is also uh, for drawing uh, means for uh, profit and loss and financial uh, balance sheet reporting but it is business area is uh, internal reporting purposes okay whereas uh, company code is for external reporting okay okay fine thank you so it's very nice discussions with you actually that performance is not up to the mark but you have answered almost uh, uh 40% out of 100 so you will have to raise your voice and you need to improve more and uh, whatever the questions that you know but uh, there is no confidence in that level and uh, that confidence was uh, not up to the mark so build up the confidence and explain everything in proper way so almost you are using the shortcut methods like uh, you are explaining uh, in shortcut way that is not at all sufficient and uh, this will not meet the interview standards and anyhow so almost whatever the things you know that you explained within the short span of time of course only 50 to 60 70 days are almost over but anyhow that preparation is uh, uh, okay okay not that much level okay so problem is uh, you will have to speak confidently and uh, raise your voice and a good tone that is very important okay so that is the problematic things that i found over here thank you very much thank you sir